On this week's World Menu, we introduce the new trend in cuisine, molecular cuisine. It's entertainment for your table. The octopus is the king of the sea and it protects your eyesight and health. We show you some super simple recipes for cooking delicious and nutritious octopus on Healthy Kitchen. Any new creation in the cuisine world is a subject to critique and scores given by people. Then, what is the most recent trendy cuisine in the age of new age technology? A new cuisine that combines science, experimental thinking, and creativity has become the latest global favorite. So let's take a look at what it is on today's first corner. World Menu. White nitrogen smoke fills the kitchen. A hot device, thermometer, electric foam maker, and syringe. You need to get the temperature and salinity just right. It's practically a science project, but it's cuisine. Meet the new trend of entertainment for your table, molecular cuisine. This is a restaurant located in a well-known, trendy neighborhood. The restaurant's most popular dish, Japanese-style beef wagyu, is being prepared. A glass cover is placed on top of the small steak dish. What is this ignition device? It's connected to the glass cover and infuses it with smoke. Arrange frozen fragua as a garnish. Smoke it once again and the original ingredients are hidden out of sight. When I was serving my customers, I was eating this. I was eating a salad, but I was eating a salad. I was eating a main course. As you open the lid with anticipation, you're mesmerized by the scent of the smoke. The delicious texture of the intricately cooked steak will keep you coming back for more. Serving at the time, it's a bit of a smell, so what's the hope? I'm excited to open the door and the smoke is coming out. It's a bit of a smell, but it's a bit of a smell. It's a bit of a smell, but it's a bit of a smell. This is molecular cuisine, the latest trend in the US and Europe. The cutting-edge culinary trend has intrigued even the best chefs in the world and nearly changed kitchens into science labs. Fascinating cooking methods are being praised by gourmands everywhere. The trend of molecular cuisine was started at El Bulli, which was selected as the best restaurant in the world. The method consists of analyzing the structure and texture of the ingredients to the molecular level to bring out new flavors and textures in food. 뭐 예술 계통에서도 장르 같은 게 많이 파괴되고 그런 것처럼 요리에서도 무슨 일식이나 양식이나 뭐 이런 이런 것들의 파괴도 이미 벌써 이루어지고 있고 더 새로운 요리나 재밌는 요리들을 위해서 다양한 시도들을 하고 있거든요. The best part of molecular cuisine is that it maintains the flavor and scent of the ingredient, but changes its form. A good example would be caviar. 주사기는 캐비어를 만드는 데 사용하거든요. 근데 좀더 크게 만들거나 이런 거 같은 거는 여러 가지 뭐 테크닉이 있고요. 더 작게 만들려면 주사기 바늘을 쓰면 되고. This syringe contains rose extract and alginic acid. When algenic acid meets calcium, it turns into a solid form. This may look like caviar, but it tastes and smells like a rose sauce. It's like magic. The use of foam is also a representative example of molecular cuisine, bringing a fresh twist to the form, flavor and scent of food through a scientific approach. 
You can enjoy the taste of gelatin and caviar with rose extract in a foam. Now that's one dish you can't resist. 영화 만들 때 예전에 만들 수 없는 그런 영상들을 컴퓨터 그래픽으로 대체하잖아요. 뭐 쉽게 말하면은 성분이나 뭐 맛이나 이런 거를 추출해서 과학의 원리로 추출해서 요리에 접목한 거거든요. 셰프 김대천 pursues art in his cuisine. He has taken on molecular cuisine to add a new interpretation to his food. Take carpaccio, which is a Western-style appetizer, for instance. Take raw abalone slices and lightly cook them in fire. Place the cooked abalone on apple jelly and transform it with an innovative sauce made via molecular cuisine. 소스는 이 샴페인을 쓸 건데 이 샴페인과 점성제, 점성제를 이용해서 점성을 만들어 준 후에 이 에스프마라고 하는 이 에스프마 기계를 이용해서 이제 거품을 만들 겁니다. A chemical ingredient called xanthan gum is used. Make a rich foam with a foam maker and mix the champagne in. A champagne sauce with an interesting texture adds a whole new flavor to your carpaccio. The traditional Korean dish of tangpyeongchae is also transformed through molecular cuisine. The various flavors of the omida berry are made into a gelatin with alginic acid. Top the dish with the soft foam. And you have a new interpretation of Tang Pyeong Chae, served like seasoned ravioli. 그다음에 손님을 더욱 더 먹는 것 먹으면서 배를 채우는 것뿐만이 아니라 먹으면서 그 식감과 그다음에 미각과 그다음에 재미까지 느낄 수 있는 그런 세계적인 지금 트렌드이기 때문에. Customers done with their main course are served a green apple. They were expecting a sweet dessert, not an apple. Customers are first surprised by the fun of breaking the apple, but then a white powder awaits inside. What does this taste like? The cold apple flavored powder melts in your mouth because it's actually apple ice cream. How is this smart dessert created? First, the outer form of the apple is molded through sugar art, which uses colored sugar. What fills the apple is created through liquefied nitrogen of minus 196 degrees Celsius. Apple and cinnamon are instantly frozen. Powder with a grinder, which creates a white powder. It's kept in a refrigerator so it won't melt. The cold powder fills the sugar-based apple mold. And when it's placed upside down on a plate, so that the powder won't trickle down, it looks like a simple red apple. The fun of molecular cuisine is obvious in this dessert. Half-cooked eggs that are cooked through molecular cuisine are certainly different from your everyday eggs. The yolk is made with mango and the white is actually coconut. The method involves both cuisine and science and it's an irresistible choice for gourmands always searching for new mouth-watering experiences. 오감을 가져다 줄수 있는 큰 신이 준 축복이라고 생각을 해요. 그래서 어떻게 보면 꼭 맛도 중요하지만 시각적인 거나 그런 감각이나 그런 느꼈을 때 혀로 느끼는 감각이나 그런 게 모든 게다 전체적으로 자극을 같이 준다면 음식이 더 돋보이거나 더 크게 될수 있는 큰 장점이 있는데 그걸 살려주는 효과를 좀 많이 집어넣는 요리 중에 하나입니다. 
a new world of cuisine that's beyond your imagination. Precise calculations and scientific methods expressed in a smart and delicious way. This is the new cuisine of science, art and style. Molecular cuisine is the latest trend sweeping through hip restaurants everywhere. Healthy Kitchen Hi, I'm Jake and welcome to Healthy Kitchen where our food is always healthy and fresh. So, are you ready to cook with us today? Well, then let's get started. Actually, before we do, uh, we need a chef and... Oh, before I even call them, he comes out. How are you? Hey, Sortino, <laughs> how are you? Good, very let's good. see you again. You too. This week's ingredient has a large head and can be as long as three meters. It's the eight-legged king of the sea, the octopus. Well, here we go. Is is a is an octopus. Octopus. Yes. And, um, in Italian, they call it polipo. 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 Or a, in the northern part, they call it polpo. Polpo. Yeah. That's a cooler name than octopus, huh? Uh, yeah, a lot shorter. Yeah. Well, <laughs> chef, if I want to choose a good octopus to cook, right? How would I know if it's good or not? Well, that's a good question. The things you have to look for is good coloring. Coloring is very important. Okay. okay? Coloring. Okay. Now. Coloring is perfect. If you take a look at all the coloring, yes. it's all intact. Uh, the coloring is perfect. Yeah, if you look at the tentacles, they're perfectly, they're hard. They're still intact. And plus, the, the meat is very firm. Okay. It's very firm rubbery, okay. yeah. Okay. And, and it's still slimy. Ah, that's, that's, when that's it's important. When it's slimy, it's still very it's good. Slimy. Right. Chef? Yeah. I see you got two very fresh octop octopuses here. Yeah. But, um... I'm gonna go straight to the market right now, man. Sure. I'm gonna run to the market. Sure. And I'm gonna bring you an even fresher. Just it's, it's fresh off the boat. Off the boat. Off the oh boat. my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it to you right now. Okay. So, um, okay, we should go to the market right now. Come over to the market. If you want the freshest of the fresh, this is the place to come. It's the largest fisheries market in Korea, with the freshest fish from all over the nation. Jake is there in a flash to get his hands on some fresh octopus. What is this loud noise? Aha, it's the beginning of the early market. There's so much fresh fish, but where is the octopus? I can't seem to find the octopuses. Where are they? I mean, I looked everywhere. The octopuses! Come here! Wow, this is as big as a child. It weighs 16 kilograms, which you can barely lift. And my hands are really slimy. Wow, that's really big. These are fresh octopuses you can only spot at this time of the day. They're going to be sold out soon. And Jake, you need to pick a good one, quick. Okay, yes, now we finally got the octopus that we want, and well, I mean, we bought it, but nevertheless, um, this is so big, look at this, it's big enough to make us many dishes, and um, Sortino, Chef, I hope this is the one that you've been um, wanting because I'm coming to the kitchen right now. So wait a little bit, okay? I'm back, Satino. Wow. Just came back from the market. Look, I left a really fresh... Wow, that looks octopus. pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I picked it out myself. Excellent. I listened to your advice. Did you? The... Yes. Excellent. All right. And um, do Italians like octopuses? Oh yeah, really? Oh my God, Italians absolutely love octopus, especially in the southern parts mm -hmm. of, of Italy, like uh, in Napoli, and also in Palermo, in Sicily, uh -huh. in Calabria, Reggio di Calabria, and also in Puglia. Uh, the southern areas of Italy is where the Mediterranean Ocean is, really? and they catch it fresh every day. Oh, and octopus is a big part of uh, Italian culture, especially in the southern regions. Really? And I'm from the south, so You're I... You're from the south? I'm from the south. There's so many ways to make octopuses in different areas of Italy. Yes. 
Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. Yeah. The oh, beautiful octopus in front yeah. of us. So, um, so Tina, what should we, what should, how should we start? Well, what we've done is we've basically cleaned out the entire head cavity oh. okay, of, okay. of the octopus. You take a wet cloth wet and you cloth. just fold it over. Fold it over? Right. Okay. Then you get a bat. Okay? You gotta whack the octopus, okay? Now what you gotta do is you just gotta beat it gently all the way down. Okay. Okay, I got something for you. Alright. <laughs> I got yeah. something for you. Whoa. Oh! We caught it! Then what we do is we unwrap it. Uh-huh. Like so, oh. okay? It, it already feels a little tender. If you feel it, it's tender almost. The most important part of cooking an octopus is boiling it well. Put a pounded octopus, lemon juice, salt and herbs in a pot and cook for 50 minutes in boiling water. The octopus lives in the warm waters of the Pacific, Indian and Atlantic Oceans and is known to swim very quickly. However, that's not enough to avoid the nets of fishermen. The octopuses mistake the nets for their homes and nearly thousands are caught every day. The octopus gathers all kinds of nutrients in the sea with its eight long legs. What kind of nutrients are we talking about? The smooth texture of octopus makes it a very delicious ingredient, but it's also a rich source of taurine. Taurine is good for the eyes, prevents anemia, and accelerates the growth of brain cells. And it's also known to lower your cholesterol levels, so if you have it with some prawn, you have no worries about cholesterol anymore. Step one, octopus salad. Here is the main ingredient of today's first dish. Fresh, plump octopus. A natural source of vitamin C, lemons. And nutritious potatoes. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. You see that? It looks beautiful. Color changed completely. The, and you can smell it so fresh mm. still. It has that... It has the remnants of the lemon. The lemon, but oh. also of the ocean still. They exactly. still have the remnants of the ocean. So you're cutting the legs? Yeah, I'm cutting the legs off. Okay. You put your octopus legs, just a fresh, simple lemon. Just like that. You want to squeeze half? that? Yes. Just half Go ahead. Lemon? Just half a lemon. Okay. That's all you need. Ah. Let me see. Ah. I think I can get some more out of there. He's... Yeah, we got to make them more stronger, I, I think, I haven't okay? worked out in a long time. I'm sorry. Well, watch how much juice I get out of this one. Okay. That's it. <laughs> you work out, huh? No. <laughs> Sprinkle chopped parsley, salt and olive oil. Then mix cherry tomatoes, the octopus and other ingredients together. You can smell plenty of the fresh seawater in the tasty octopus salad. Shall we? Yes, yes, please. Yeah, no problem. Let's try this. Okay. I'm going to feed you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is not octopus. This is silk. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. It's really soft and tender. <laughs> <laughs> Step two, grilled seafood and octopus. The main ingredient of today's second dish is well-cooked octopus with fresh seafood including shrimp and scallops, rosemary, and green asparagus. So now um, it's time to make the second The second dish. dish. What is that? Which we're going to use the same octopus. Okay. And this is flour, okay? Ah, flour. We're going to just dip it in flour very easily, like this. You put beautiful hot oil inside, and you pan fry. Is there is there a reason why you're using flour? 
for this um, dish? What you're doing is you're creating a nice crispy base outside. Ah, okay. We create a nice beautiful crust. Oh, you see wow, that? that crust out. Oh. Look at the crust on that. Nice. It's beautiful. Place shrimps and scallops topped with rosemary on a grill. Sprinkle salt and olive oil and cook. Prepare tomato sauce on a plate. So what you want to do is just cut this like so, right? Oh, see that's a beautiful color. Put one on the bottom. Put another one here. Can I can I place? You can go ahead. Let's cut cut one of these. Okay. I have to eat that. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, you just took my pizza. Mamma mia. Put it like this. I want to sing opera. Sing it for us. La donna mobile. Oh. You sang opera? Yeah. So, I'll just rap for you. Okay, you rap for me. Yo, this octopus is so good. And if you're at home, that's what you should do. <laughs> it didn't rhyme, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> This is how the different generations come into effect, okay? Exactly. Different generations, but we have fun. The well-grilled octopus makes for a delicious and healthy combination with the vegetables. Grilled seafood and octopus are served. <laughs> Chef Sortino is from Italy, where people love octopus. Are there any other octopus dishes you can recommend, Chef? Pasta. Pasta. The one after that? A soup. You can so, make octopus soup. octopus soup. You can even make carpaccio. Carpaccio. From the legs. Very thinly sliced, raw, not cooked. You take the leg, you thinly slice it, uh -huh. you put it on a dish, and you put lemon juice and olive oil, black pepper, and salt. Oh. Raw. Very thin though. What are some tasty Eastern style dishes? Cook rice and octopus together for a long time and you get a nutritious bowl of octopus porridge. Boil octopus in a spicy, peppery broth and you get a soothing octopus stew. Thinly slice slightly boiled and frozen octopus. Plate it and splash on frying oil for this unusual recipe. One octopus can give you countless dishes. We invite you to experience the infinite world of octopus recipes. Okay, here we have the finished second dish. Right. And um, mm, I can almost smell a sea because of all these fresh seafood. different types of seafood. <laughs> exactly. Um, wow. Well, should we taste it? Please, let's let's, let's taste. No okay. problem. Okay. I'm just thinking it's good, but you tell me what you think. It's grilled, but it's still so soft and tender. Wow. How is that possible? Well, when we cooked mm -hmm. the octopus with the semolina flour, or just mm -hmm. white flour, it takes a long time for octopus to cook inside. Mm -hmm. All we were doing was just cooking the outside. Uh -huh. The inside didn't really cook, because okay. it was already cooked. It okay. warmed up a bit, but it wasn't really cooked cooked. Wow. And it still stayed soft. Mm -mm. I think the quest for health is the biggest quest of the human race. And today, Chef Sortino right here, charismatic, handsome chef, showed us a couple of tips and hints how to make two delicious dishes. And I hope you guys out there are going to try it at your own dinner table. So, thank you, Chef. Thank you very much for coming. Yes. And uh, once again, this is very healthy for you. Very healthy. Very healthy. Don't look at my size because if you eat this, you don't get this big. This is because of the wine, okay? Don't worry. Exactly. <laughs> well, that was Thank it very much. for today's cuisine tour. And we're going to have a very interesting cuisine tour next week waiting for you. Okay? So, should we say bye to them? Goodbye. Bye-bye. Salute. Salute.